grass. Then you can see the grass. Now those ducks there. Two cups. And a little bit. Two cups and a little bit. Two cups of canola oil, two cups of flour. A little bit more oil than the flour. Just over two cups. That's heating. Hot. That's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes before you start seeing this oil smoke. It's so hot. In the midst of all that smoke, you got smoke coming out of the pot. Not a lot of smoke, just some smoke. When you see that coming out of that pot right there, you add the flour and you got to stir constantly. Brown the flour till it gets it'll be this color. The white flour is gonna turn into a color like that. Dark. Dark chocolate. More than just brown, it, it will be black. But see, that's where you can burn it or start all over again. I'd say it all is pretty hot. Here we go. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. Of your white flour, and he's been there about five minutes. Ago. So we're getting close here now. That roux needs to be dark. Once you get the roux, the first thing you add to it, this is what you add first. That goes in the roux first. Flour, oil, canola oil, hard to burn canola oil, hard to burn. That's why you want it. The onions, and we're getting the essence of the onions in this pot. But the roux, the famous, it's, it's, it's the, it's the liver, liver die by it. This is just duck broth. A little salt, black pepper. All that's going in here. How long did you boil the duck? We'll have a lot of... We boiled the ducks. To get this, we boiled the ducks for just over three hours. And this is how much we kept of the duck meat. Legs, primarily thighs, hearts, gizzards, they've all tended up. That's going in this pot. After we get all the veggies in. Onions first. Onions has to be first. Just onions and canola oil at a very high temperature. That's your beginning of your roux. You got to get the roux right. Or look, look in the oven here. We got these ducks that we aren't going in the gumbo. Got them bacon in there. That, that, that's ducks without. Ducks with no feet. Ducks with no 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 thighs and no legs. No legs. You can eat that along with your gumbo, or you can eat that with your gumbo, or without it. Yeah. We, we got it for flavor. Ducks got a lot of flavor in them. If you can get it out of them, we get we get it out of them. Just try not to get the grease. 
we didn't break it in. There. You hold it, pop it a little bit. I'm just kind of cooking along, boiling around the edges there. Yeah, you can put your meat in there whenever you're ready, Burl. Put meat. This is the duck legs and thighs, and then we got the hearts and the gizzards. We can add an alley there. There's a two cup thing there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. First. these veggies, now the meat, and the broth, they're all blending together now. We're going to bring it back to a simmer. seafood with sausage and duck, but we do. We like it. Clean Louisiana crawfish tails. That will go over in there. Be a slow cook now. It's going to simmer here. Today, tonight, I'll simmer it a little bit keep it hot. Tomorrow they eat, they eat this tomorrow at about lunchtime. 11, 12 o'clock in the daytime. As soon as they get in from the, from the duck hunt, they'll have duck gumbo waiting on them. They got one day for the military to hunt, one or two days, I don't forgot which, but the uh, that's what you'll be famous. This gumbo, yeah, you'll be famous. The duck people, the military guys, the duck hunt.